Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Hanya on the island of Crete in Greece. And I think one of the best reasons that you can come to Crete is to experience the authentic Mediterranean food culture. And so I'm on my way this morning to go eat at a restaurant uh, which is known for preserving authentic Cretan food. We're gonna jump in a taxi. It's a little ways outside of town within the mountains and I'm looking forward to eating and to sharing with you some authentic Cretan food. This restaurant? It is at uh, Keramia? Yes, but I will put okay. it in my Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think it's about 20 kilometers uh, just straight up and towards the mountain. driving further and further into the mountain range, the rugged mountain range. We've passed by just an endless sea of olive trees. You can see vineyards, you can see all of just the lush Mediterranean herbs. We've passed by sheep, flocks of sheep and goats. And you can just sense how, how rich the land is here and, and how fertile it is. When I thought of coming to Crete, this is the dreamy landscape and, and environment that I had literally dreamt about and what I wanted to experience when I came to Crete. It was really quite a quite a journey to get here. We wound around the mountain roads and oh well, I'm standing kind of in the middle of the road right now but the owner was here to greet us at the restaurant. You can smell he still cooks over fire. The restaurant is over here. We're gonna definitely get a look at all the food he's preparing but the the dining room is up here. Wow this is a this is an absolutely beautiful place. Oh I am already thrilled that we made the journey here. Oh, amazing. Where are you from? Okay? USA? Uh, from USA, and my wife is from Thailand. Thailand? Thailand, yes. You, you? Thailand also. America. America. Arizona. Arizona. Mountain goat. Why is here? Because I love to eat. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Really amazing. Wow. Creta food. No food. No souvlaki, Muzaka, Patricia, sir. Come here, sir. Come. Okay. Wow. Well, party. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dolma, 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 Okay. Melizano. Amazing. And all, all wood, all traditional oh, yeah. stuff. Everything is cooked in traditional Cretan ceramic pots. This is an amazing, an amazing place. Oh, 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 oh. And outside is where he's doing most of the cooking over fire, the traditional way. You can smell the aromas of the meat, the lamb, and the goat. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Maybe you like to look garden? Sure. Everything is from your garden. And, and bio. And from your and the meat also? It's here it's not a restaurant. Yes. It's here is farm. Okay. Different. Okay. Restaurant, telephone, supermarket. Yes. Far you want people, garden, and animals. He's such a nice, friendly, passionate guy. You can tell how he has, he, he pours his love into his cooking. And he cooks over fire. He has all these stews going over the coals and he has everything cooking in traditional Cretan clay ceramic pots. And 
he made sure to tell me that this is this is not a restaurant this is a farm so all of the ingredients are from right here on their farm the vegetables they have animals they have the livestock they have all the herbs and all the ingredients I, I, I know for sure they get their own olive oil be this being in the mountains of Crete this is a spectacular food place oh what is wow thank you You're welcome this is peaches peaches or Okay, before we get started eating some some of those meaty stews, um, I'm gonna walk around with Adam around the, the garden, but first he just picked some, I think these are either peaches or nectarines, no, they're fuzzy, I think they're peaches. He picked them right off the tree there. Oh, it's like crisp like an apple, but then it has the flavor of a peach. Oh, it's really good. Oh, cows, okay. We have a family of cows. And okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here. We have family on the mountains. Okay. Uh, because we have uh, that animal here because they have accidents at the eyes. Ah. Oh. They take their poison every day. Oh. Okay. That's here. Wow. Oh. We're taking a walk down to the farm to see some of the produce and some of the. Are there more animals also? Yes, of course. Okay. And these are all olives. Oh, lots and lots of olives. Every vegetable to can eat at the restaurant from here. Everything that's cooked is all from within the garden. And from within the farm, it's a farm. Wow, this is this is straight farm to table. And and when I talk about straight farm to table, this is like straight from their backyard to the table that we're gonna eat. Look at this land. Thank you. You're welcome. Mama and the big father. Okay. This is absolutely a Mediterranean oasis, a Mediterranean paradise. Nah! Sure. You want to try? Okay. <laughs> This is amazing. Ah. Wow, amazing. amazing. Soft, eh? Yeah, really, really soft. Mm. Hey, guy. One of the things that fascinates me about Cretan culture is that traditionally people are known for living very, very long lives uh, because of their, because of the, the way they eat and they always eat off the land. Uh, they eat seasonal, uh, the traditional Cretan diet. And this is a throwback to the past. This is, this is the way people ate in the past. This is the way they would raise their animals, eat from the land and eat seasonally. And this is the best way to eat. Uh-huh. You can taste. Okay. It's very sweet. And super food. Oh yeah. Mm. It's good, huh? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Take it out. If you want, you can. Those are really, really good. Are they blackberry? Maybe blackberries or mmm. Really sweet and juicy. That was actually a completely unplanned trip to the farm. We, I just started talking with the, uh, Adam who, who runs the farm and runs the livestock and we just ended up walking further and seeing all the livestock. Uh, but now we're, we're sitting down to eat. That just, just increases my hunger and my excitement. And this is some of the, the house wine. Okay, gotta try some of that. Oh wow, that is spectacular. Oh, and I'm sure, well actually we're sitting right under some, some grapevines. I know the wine is made right here as well. I gotta try some of this bread. Oh, and it's very, very crispy. Uh, you can feel it's crunchy in your fingers, and then it looks like there is definitely some oregano on it. It's really crispy, it's really dense, it tastes like Crete. 
And also, as we're sitting down to eat, they're about to play some live Cretan music right in front of us, too. The view is spectacular. The locality of the food can't get better either. And with live music, as we're, we're hanging out here, this is relaxing Mediterranean Crete paradise. Mountain goat. Oh, mountain goat. Yes. The chef, he is just going to bring us five different dishes. I'm not, I'm not sure all the dishes, but he's just going to be bring his personal favorites. And the first dish that he brought out, I was going to wait for all the dishes to come out, but I absolutely cannot. The first is stewed Cretan mountain goat. Look at those chunks of all natural meat. Oh, look at, okay, I'm just going to pick up one of these guys right here. Look at that. Oh, it's tender. It has an amazing, like, almost herb flavor to it. Wow, that's spectacular. And that's about as meaty and wonderful as you can get. Oh, that is, that is flavor meat overload right there. It's really, really good. And, and it is stewed and cooked very, very tender. Um, but you can, it, it's a natural free range grazing goat. So it has that, that natural texture to it, but it's very, very tender. Their white wine here is absolutely fantastic too. And they just brought us one more dish. I'm still blown away by that wild goat, that mountain goat. Next dish is aubergine eggplant. This is a dish that looks like it needs to be eaten with bread. I'm gonna break some of this bread, scoop on some of this. It's really nice and saucy. Mm. Oh, you can taste the fire in that eggplant. How it's been cooked over the fire in that ceramic pot. The, the eggplant is melt, melt in your mouth tender. And then it's just kind of a mellow flavor, but what I love about it is it just takes, tastes so natural. And also just the fact that the eggplant is just melt in your mouth. Another dish has arrived and uh, the chef brought it to our table himself. This is chunks of veal. And he said, this is from their farm. This is Cretan veal. This is a traditional dish. It's been stewed again. You can see the chunks of meat. You can see the herbs in here. I can see some rosemary. I can see some mostly rosemary and I can smell the rosemary. Okay, this looks like I'm gonna go in with my knife here, cut a piece of this, just let it, let it soak up some of that sauce on the bottom there, and get a close up look at that. That looks extremely tender and that rosemary in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you can taste the rosemary, and I think I can taste the white wine in there. Follow that. This is the Cretan life right here. This is, this is awesome. This is absolutely outstanding. I'm loving it. Oh, some veal juices. Oh, bread. Next up for some dolma, and this is a plate that we got. Um, I think these are actually wrapped in, I think, zucchini flowers. And then there's rice and the spices in here, and then this is a zucchini, and then with yogurt. Let's cut this open so we can see what's inside. Oh yeah, you've got that rice. I think there's dill in there, and maybe some other herbs, and then I'm gonna dip it with the, the side here. Oh, the dill comes in so nicely, and then that rice is nice and gooey and gummy, like a, almost like a pudding. And then, yeah. I think that is the, the zucchini flower. That's fantastic. It's really refreshing. Oh, the zucchini just melts in your mouth too. The owner just brought us a cup of tea. And I think this is some kind of Cretan mountain tea. Mmm, rosemary tea. Yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. Rosemary and probably some other Cretan herbs as well. You probably need this to wash down that mountain goat. And the final dish we got is a Cretan salad. And just like the rest of the dishes, they do not take the salad lightly here. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the most beautiful salads I think I've ever seen in my life. And you can be 
for sure, certain, 100% guaranteed that all of the ingredients in this salad, all the vegetables that you see here, everything that you see here is from right here on this farm. Uh, I know the, the owner would not have it any other way. Some of the vegetables appear to be roasted. There's some eggplant and potatoes that are roasted and some peppers, but then there's also an abundance of other vegetables. There are cucumbers. There's some type of grain. There, there are raisins in here and beets and tomatoes. This is insane. Oh. That's just bursting with natural flavor. Oh, that tomato is ridiculous. It's so juicy and so refreshing. And then I got a, I got some corn in that bite. I got some raisins. This is definitely a roasted pepper here. I think it's just olive oil on top. Oh, and as you dig deeper into the salad, you can see there are chunks of the, the rusk, which are the crunchy bread down here as well. Dig deeper, there are more and more fresh herbs as well and, and vegetables. That just tastes like pure health and some fresh watermelon for dessert. That is just the ultimate way to end this Cretan food meal. We see you next time, four people. One, two, three, and one more. <laughs> one, nothing, madam. I hope so. Me is me three. I hope so. This has been by far the best meal that I've ever had in Crete. And I think, I mean, I haven't eaten that that many places, but I think this is a place, if you love to eat, this is a place you should make an effort to come to when you visit Crete, no matter where you are in Crete. Uh, he's doing an exceptional job. And again, he said, the owner says it's not, a, it's not a restaurant, but it's a farm. And he cooks traditional Cretan food recipes. He's an amazing guy. And thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. You are awesome. <laughs> it's a unique style. And he is the man right here. He is the man. I love this experience. <laughs> okay, so I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. I'll have all the details about this restaurant in the, in the comment section below. Oh, wow. The snails. He's cooking the snails right now. Um, but you can check out all the details below. And thank you very much for watching this authentic Cretan food video and this is the place to come. This is definitely the place to come. You've got to come here. Thank you again for watching. I am feeling amazing and I'll see you on the next video.